Hey guys, this will be my first video for Card Runners. My name's Andrea Rispoli. Uh, I go by the name Birde on the Stars. And I've been playing a fair amount of 50 Zoom lately um, with fairly good results. Uh, I am currently playing 100 NL, uh, both regular and Zoom this month. But yeah, as far as 50 Zoom is concerned, I think it's a pretty good limit for part time jobs and income. Especially people like if you're studying at uni and you just play a few hours a night, you can actually make a fairly decent income from it. Another thing that I think I should mention is that I, a lot of trainers that play like mid stakes and high stakes that do do some 50 and L videos don't really know what the games are like regularly. They come down, they play a few hands for the, for the site and then they leave. Um, I do play these games fairly often, so I think I will be quite valuable in that respect as far as I can give you an insight to how they play. Um, so without further ado, uh, going to be three tabling. Hopefully the pace will be okay. But before I do start, um, just some things to cover. Um, as far as my notes go, uh, red is reg, orange is tough reg, uh, yellow is fish, and sorry, yellow is bad reg, and green is fish. And then as far as my HUD's concerned, the first three lines are probably what you should be worrying about, uh, which is name, number of hands, VPIP, PFR, post-flop aggression factor, and then 3-bet, fold to 3-bet, 4-bet range, fold to 4-bet. And if anything else comes up, I will tell you as it comes. So yeah, hopefully we'll get in a few interesting spots. So pretty standard fold table three. Um, eight, seven, you could probably peel versus some people. Uh, I'm just gonna err on the side of caution and fold. Eight, four, standard fold, nine, five. I'll try not to comment on all the standard pre-flop decisions. Hopefully you guys know that by now. Um, queen six, blind versus blind, I think is a bit too weak to raise. you see I have a little bit of a stack from playing a little bit earlier. Um, Ace-King, pretty standard. Uh, you want to get in the habit of labelling fish as often as you can. Um, so I do. Uh, pretty dry board here. This guy leads for pot. Uh, just going to call. Uh, he pots it again. Um, just going to call. Reevaluate river. He checks. Um, I think there's value in betting here. Uh, this guy leads twice, table three, uh, for small. I think without a spade, we can just fold. So I'm going to value bet river. And we chop. Which is kind of interesting that he flat that small blind this button, but that's what notes are for. You always want to make sure you're putting in positional actions when you're writing notes. It just gives you an idea as to how people play. So if I face a 3-bet on table 2, I'll very happily get in jacks there. Bottom of the range is probably 10s. For some guys, I will get in 9s. Um, a few regs behind, so I won't open queen 10. Uh, so we get a cold call from the weaker player. And this really tight guy 3-bets us, 1.5% over 180 hands. Uh, I still don't think we can fold, but I'm going to be extremely cautious post-flop. Tend to open all suited aces from MP. Um, UTG, you can probably fold ace 6 to ace 9 suited. Though I don't think it will have a huge impact on your win rate. So this guy 3-bets us, um, he actually hasn't done this versus middle position yet. It does make a pretty good candidate to 4-bet bluff, but as played uh, without reads, I'm just going to fold. Uh, the weaker player opens UTG, probably think about doing all three options here, I am just going to fold though. 
I used to do suited a little bit too weak to race. So I think Queen for off it is pretty weak, but we have got two weaker players in the blinds, so I think it's okay to raise. Um, just going to check flop. This guy's pretty passive, so we could actually get to showdown with queen high and be good often enough. It's fine. We just don't really have enough equity. We could consider betting turn, betting river, but I just prefer checking down. Um, just going to half pot this flop. Favors the raises range. I expect him to fold fairly often on that texture. In regards to his ace-king hand, I really don't think we want to be going big on the river. Um, we do want to rep, uh, do want to get called by a large variety of hands. So, I think going half pot's fine. Um, king eight suited. I usually open all suited kings, blind this blind for pot. Um, I'm going to defend jack seven suited. E3 bets. Again, you could 4-bet this hand, but without reads, I'm just going to fold. So we flop a gut shot, two overs, and a backdoor flush draw. Um, definitely going to be calling flop, and if he checks back, I'm just going to be betting twice. Especially without blocking diamonds, it's a pretty good hand to be betting twice. That's played. Uh, this art guy's opened 84% on the button. Um, King 8 usually plays okay as a 3-bet, especially when they're folding so much 3-bets. You can see he folds 100%. I expect him to have a fair amount of ace highs here, um, which he'll hopefully fold to this bet. I don't think we need to bomb it too much because we still want to rep some like ace-9s for value. I don't really like having a cold calling range here, so I'm just going to fold eights. You just want to see where people are playing from, how many tables they're playing. So you can see this guy's playing like six tables of zoom, so he's likely just a regular. Either that or he's just some crazy high volume fish, which I doubt. Uh, queen nine's kind of close to an open. Just going to fold this time though. King Jack, standard open for me. Get three bet out of the small blind. So we now we look up his stats. Small blind versus cutoff is 14%. So I think King Jack is probably the bottom of my peeling range here. Probably four bet King 10 off, because there's decent blockers. But King Jack's just a tiny bit too strong. Um, we flop pretty much nothing, so I am just going to fold. There is an argument that we do have pretty bad reverse implied odds when we hit a king, but I think it just has way too much equity to fold. Um, so this weaker player opens UTG, um, I'll likely be 3-betting to isolate with the 10-jack suited. Plays well post-flop. So when we get snap 4-bet here for such a sizing, I think we just have to fold. If we were a lot deeper, we could consider peeling there. Um, just going to half-pot C-bet bluff here. And we get 3-bet by a weaker player. Um, just plays pretty badly out of position, so I'm just going to fold. So this is an interesting spot with the fish. Um, 
actually not the worst hand to be calling. We don't block either flush draws. Um, of course, he does have 5x and queen x for value. But I think we just have to take our pot odds and call in the situation. So he did have that five, having 5x, but I think for the amount of value he have, he will have a fair amount of bluffs on that run out. We don't really block any bluffs at all, which is really nice. Um, queen 9, easy fold. Again, you see a limp, just tag them as a fish. I think King Queen suited, I would squeeze here. As played, I'm just going to fold. Uh, this guy's really tight, UTG, only 8% on my sample, so I am just going to call. Um, against looser guys, I do prefer 3 betting Ace King. Um, so this guy raises here. He's a semi regular. I think I am going to 3 bet flop. Mm. This guy 3 bets 1.7%, so I'm just going to fold Ace King. I'm just going to call. I want to keep his bluffs in. You do want to be careful about your timing tells in Zoom. Uh, you generally don't want to snap the side. Uh, just going to call again. Really good run out for us. Unless he has eights, we've just got close to the nuts here. He bet's really small. Um, I think we just have to shove for value here. We do have some bluffs. Missed flush draws. So yeah. He can also cycle like Queen 8, especially when he uses that. Okay, so he has the nuts, which is nice. I do think we can call, get called by worse there. Unless he has eights or that, we're pretty much always good on that run out. I'm going to bet the eight six. There are definitely arguments for calling the fours. But I think there's a two tabling unknown. There's just too much value in shoving. You stand C bet table three. Barrel hearts and stuff. If we don't pick up equity, I'm generally just going to give up. Uh, King Queen just going to flat call. Could also use this as a three bet. And this and mid, I'm just going to call. Um, kind of sucks because we pretty much always lose here, but I'm just going to check. And this is a board that I think I just have to fold, unfortunately. I think King Queen is okay to peel with the backdoor hearts, backdoor straight draw. Uh, can't really fold once we turn the heart, so I'm just going to call. See, that's pretty large. There are arguments for shoving, but I would rather have a spade in our hand. Going back to the fours hand again, if we did three bet the flop, we'd just fold out all of his bluffs. I do want to keep them in. Because this is a run out that he will be quite apt to barrel. 
quite wide. So standard three bet with jacks. Um, decisions whether to squeeze or not with ace king. These art guys are pretty tight, so I actually prefer calling. Um, so we get four bet. I mean, this isn't ideal, but I don't think we can fold. We only have seventy four hands on him. Jacks in this situation is just a, a, a real monster, and he's tanking, which is. Okay. Interesting raise call. It's always funny when you see these um fourteen ten guys do weird shit like that. Um gonna see what these guys come up with. Okay. It's always good kind of observing what people do, so So you can have an idea of what their ranges will be later. So I've seen him shove threes now for 20 bigs. So I can very easily um, change my ranges for calling when he shoves over my open. Um, I think 8-6, we're a little bit deeper. So I'm going to three bet a little bit bigger. But it plays very well post-flop, especially in position. I don't expect him to be getting too out of line here. Very good for board coverage and stuff like that. Um, there's a 3x, I probably would defend ace-8 here, but as played, I'm just going to fold. 2.5x again, I'd probably defend as well. King-4 is kind of marginal. We're a little bit deeper, so we're on the, err on the side of folding. And we can see this guy folds 89% to steals, so I'm pretty much raising any two cards here. Um, I think this deep, we're just going to get destroyed if we squeeze. Because he can just call, like, so many hands. So I'm just going to call. Keeps the fish in, which is nice. Um, Three-way, I'm not really going to do anything. Let's make a note. And this guy... Pretty easy fold once we get a bit in the call. If I have any tips for these limits, it's that you really shouldn't try and autopilot. It's really easy to do um, when you're four tabling Zoom and you know you've got like all these decisions going. It's very easy to drop a lot of buy-ins. Um, so just going to bet around 60% pot. Um, kind of blocks. It kind of sucks blocking all of the top pairs, but I think there's a weaker player. We just want to be going. We just want to be betting. There's regs you could consider balancing your range by checking top set there. Um, this is weird. This guy leads. Um, I think without reads, I'm just going to fold. That's a strange board to lead. Hmm. Pretty much any ace x I'm raising by most blind, especially versus this tighter guy. Um, this is a board that smashes his range, so we generally want to be doing a lot of checking rather than betting. And obviously, when we have no equity with ace five, I think it's a pretty standard check fold. I think on this river, I will turn my hand into a buff just to get him off all uh, small pocket pairs, stuff like that. Some other ace x that beats us. Um, and I'm just going to call with ace jack against an unknown's 3 bet. I think it's a bit too strong to 4 bet as a bluff, though it can be fine. But when the guy's playing, you know. Silver Star, 60-40, I think it's okay to call. Can get pretty dicey post-flop though. We 
you know, just constantly tagging people. Uh, 9-7 I think is fine to defend here. Um, I won't have a folding range here, so I'm just going to call. When he makes it that size, I just, you just can't fold anything you open UTG. Uh, I'm just going to fold some in 9. So he bets, pretty easy fold for that sizing. Uh, four five, I think it's fine to open. And versus an unknown Chrome Star, I am going to defend King ten off. Is he call on the flop? And I don't really like playing with a six suited, so I'm going to use it as a three bet. Here's a fairly high fold to three bet over a small sample. Um, there's that sizing. I'm definitely not folding turn. Probably going to end up calling river because we chop with old king x now. Uh, that's less than king queen. And I don't expect him to be betting any 7x. So it's not great, but I'm just going to call. Sometimes you get that. Um, I'm actually going to value bet table 1. Um, we will have some small pocket pairs which will have to bluff this run out. So I think king x is a pretty strong hand. And if he does fold, not folding that. But if he does uh, cycle for a chop, we do get a fair bit, fair bit of value there. So I'm surprised he didn't value bet on the river, but that's fine. So we get a little min raise here from this fishier player. I actually think with the three straight, I'm going to peel. Not the best card for us. And on table one, I'm just going to go bet, bet, jab. It's actually a really bad card to bluff table two. Um, he will be checking back a lot of ace highs. So I think betting this card will be a real mistake with our hand. I prefer check calling to betting, but I'll likely just be check folding. And... I think we're just getting too good a price to fold the 10-7 here. Yeah, just going to fold. Uh, we got two tighter players in the blinds. This guy folds 77% to button seals, so I'll probably be raising any two cards. Nine ten versus a tighter player. Pretty standard raise. Um, when we get three bet, I think we just have to fold. Um, this regs, I think this is a really good hand to have in your check back range. Uh, it just protects a little bit. You can call a lot of club turns. But against a guy running 54-38, I think it's pretty much just like a... Three street value play almost. Um, arguments for checking back turn, but there's this guy I'm just gonna bet. If he raises, I will call. And I'm definitely gonna be checking back river. I think three streets is way too thin with this hand. I'm um, just going to isolate getting ace jack. And I'm just going to half pot with fives for value slash protection. And pretty easy snap call when he jams. And if he bets river, this is a pretty bad river to call. So I am likely just going to fold. He has all pocket pairs that are value betting on this run out, so... She generally treats small blind flats with a lot of respect. They're generally quite pocket pair heavy, even if it is a weaker player. 
Um, so keep that in mind when you're constructing what ranges to bet against. I think that's a limp I'm just going to lead for value slash protection. Queen 8, pretty standard open. Queen 9 versus a min. You ought to be calling really wide here. Uh, not much we can do on that board, so I'm just going to fold. King high, I would likely float. Pretty standard pre-flop decisions around. First fish, you can go exploitative sizing. So I just raised for mid there because it was opening, uh, folding 100% to line versus blind steals. Exploitative is key. <laughs> um, I don't really like betting here. I think our hand plays much better as a check call. It's unlikely we're going to get value on the flop from worse. And I think with the fish in the pot, it's okay to peel 10 7 here. Uh, easy ISO with king queen and easy call on table 2 without equity. Uh, just going to half pot. Table one. Pretty bad hand to call with, table two. Blocks all of his bluffs. Uh, being straight draws and clubs, some clubs, combos. So I think we just have to fold. That sizing is also pretty value heavy. Though against regs, they'll obviously have balanced ranges for betting. That size. Well, they should. <laughs> So this guy 3 bets 16% button versus big blind, which is on, is on the higher side. Um, I am going to use this hand as a 4 bet. Um, different people construct their ranges differently in this scenario. Um, I do use some kings. Interesting board. So it's whether we want to see that or not. I actually think with the king of spades, it's okay to check back. Flop the effective nuts, table two. So I'm just going to go bet, bet, jam. I think there's that sizing. I'm... Yeah, I'm actually going to fold. I don't think we have very good implied odds with our king of spades on a four spade run out and... We can likely be in a dominated scenario. Um, interesting hand. Might review that one later. It's an interesting spot. Jack-10, pretty standard defend. And going to check flop. That hand, that card does give us a little bit of equity. So I'm going to go bet, bet. I think on Heart Rivers it would be a very bad idea to be betting. Because a lot of his um, hard X combos will be in his check call range. 
I don't blame him for calling there. I mean, he's basically at the top of his range apart from some two pair combos. But I do think we do need to be bluffing with that hand, especially when we pick up equity on the turn. It's really nice not blocking any hearts. Uh, fives, I will be betting for protection slash value on this board. And he leads turn. Um, we have a pretty bad hand to call with. No diamond, so I'm just going to fold. Uh, Ace Jack can be okay as a 3 bet bluff here. I'd prefer a suited variety. Uh, and versus min open, I'm going to defend Ace Jack. Um, get a bet fairly big versus the fish on table 1. And Giovanni over bets turn, uh, flop. I can't fold my hand, so I'm just going to call. And likely value bet river. Don't think we want to be going big though. And just gonna check back tens. And sizing generally gonna go three streets here. So I think just under half pot, just under half pot, and then jam will be fine. Uh, it's a pretty bad run out. I think I'm just going to check the side. I don't expect to get too much value from Wes here. Um... Close. I think with the King of Diamonds, it's probably better to fold. Because if he does peel like King Queen of Diamonds, that Cole Cole and then bluffs Jams River as a bluff, um, that removes a fair amount of those types of combos. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to fold. Sucks though. I just don't think we're good often enough to call there. Um, there's a 4x open, I don't think we can defend profitably. Mm. It's another spot I'll should look up, look over. So I'm going to start sitting out the tables. I'd appreciate any feedback you guys have. If you could just post it under the video. Alright, cheers guys.